Podcast. My name is Rishi Oza. And I'm Serge Pave. And welcome to another episode of KRAM. Our first segment is about the MYP Personal Project. The event was last Wednesday, and most of the sophomore class here at Rampart was involved. Last week, sophomores participated in the Personal Project. Ms. Kaiser talked to us about the project and its benefits. The Personal Project is an opportunity for students to kind of do a passion project. They can learn about whatever they want to learn about. They can create kind of whatever they're interested in and for some students it turns into a career for them. So for instance I had a student who created a robot to solve a Rubik's Cube and he's still working through the algorithms to make it happen but he's really interested in robotics and that type of thing and I've had students create cookbooks and whatever you want to do you can do with a personal project. There are a couple of benefits. One is the, the intrinsic value of creating and doing something on your own. Um, but I know students are interested more in what's going to get them into college. And so the personal project, you can get a mark on your transcript that will set you apart from other sophomores who maybe just took regular classes but didn't engage in something greater and bigger than themselves. And then also I think you just learn a bunch of skills that are going to be useful in life, like how to create a timeline and, and how to task manage things, break it into manageable parts so that you can complete them um, instead of it just rolling into one big project at the end that you scramble to do. Although I know some students did that too. <laughs> Two students, Parker and Colin, talked about their projects. Um, I researched about photography and the science behind cameras. For my personal project, I recorded a song with Acapella Club and we went to a recording studio and it was really fun. They also talked about their motivation. I'm in yearbook and I really wanted to learn more about cameras and about how they work so that when I'm shooting a certain event, I can know how to adjust the camera for the certain atmosphere I'm shooting in. I participated in the personal project because I wanted to better my knowledge of learning new things and also of my understanding of the IB program. We asked them if they would recommend others to participate in the personal project. Yes, I would recommend others to do the personal project because it's a great learning experience and uh, you get to learn new techniques to doing things you've never even done before. I would really recommend it to somebody who's really interested about something that they don't know that much about because it's kind of a lifelong skill that you can take with you and just learning more about it is really fun. Oh, I wholeheartedly recommend that every student should do a personal project because it's going to come in handy in life. I mean, I, I chat with friends and colleagues all the time about things that they're doing. Uh, I had a, a coworker who her um, washing machine just stopped working and so she looked up how to fix it and she fixed it on her own and that is a personal project. So um, basically, how do you start a project from start to finish? And it's just good and fun and if you ask students who completed the project, I think that you'll find that they um, enjoyed the outcome and maybe not the process along the way, but they learned some things, usually not to procrastinate. Congratulations to the sophomores who are all MYP completers. This has been Akshay Gia reporting for KRAM. If you're a freshman and interested in participating in the personal project next year, talk with your counselor or Ms. Kaiser. In another IB related segment, our KRAM team went and talked with the DP students about common myths and questions that some underclassmen may have. Let's take a look. There is a unique opportunity offered here at Rampart High School called the DB Program. Students immerse themselves in their education while receiving college credits for their courses. Several sophomores tell us things they have heard about DP, as well as questions to ask upperclassmen in the DP Program. Let's see what they know. I don't really know much about IB. Um, I've just heard that the classes are a lot harder. Yeah, I hear a lot of people in IB have almost no tests and almost all, like more projects than people in AP classes. I know that it's not necessarily any harder than EP, it's just different. This is Mr. Hutchison, the DP Administrative Assistant. Well, the diploma program um, provides students with a, a kind of a, a little bit of a challenge in the curriculum, similar to if you were taking AP or Career Start or any other college level program. And it provides you an opportunity to grow within a subject area, not just you get information and then uh, take a test and then you're done with it. You can take this information, use it in college or even use it in life as you move on beyond high school. Let's see what things the sophomores want to know about IB. A question of mine is, uh, do people in IB take a lot less notes than people in AP classes? So uh, when I took AP classes last year, 
I took three sci or two science classes and a math class, and they're very focused on almost memorization of specific topics, whereas DP really encourages that critical thinking. Um, I know with literally all my classes, there's a lot more writing, but it's definitely more critical analysis. And I think that while it's a little bit more difficult now, the skills that you gain out of doing it now are definitely going to be worth it in the end. Um, is the IB program actually harder? And um, if it's not, then why do people say it is? I think the workload is exaggerated a little bit. It's definitely challenging because you'll get homework in all of your classes and there's a lot of work, but with some time management, it's not too bad. What is the DP community like? Um, so I really like the IB community. Um, it's really close-knit. All the teachers kind of work together and you have a lot of your classes with the same people. Um, so it's a lot of fun getting to see them and like, getting to communicate with them about everything, basically. I would want to ask the juniors and seniors if it limits the number of extracurriculars that you can take. I think there's definitely enough time in the day to manage all your activities and still be able to do um, extracurricular activities and to really be able to enjoy your life. I, I think that's definitely one of the best parts about DP. DP is a great program at Rampart that can help you in college as well as improve your communication and open-mindedness. Talk to Mr. Hutchison if you have further questions. This has been Jackson Champagne reporting for KRAM. I didn't know how much misinformation was spread. If you're wanting to be a part of DP, talk to your counselor or Mr. Hutchison in the IB office for more info. Isabella Palumbo is a student here at Rampart who is one of the organizers for the Jeans for Teens drive. She talked with our team about it. Isabella Palumbo is an example of Rampart's finest students. Students spoke of their opinions of Isabella. Isabella is a hard worker who is a great president to the Do Something Club. She's really dedicated to her work. She is always just amazing and awesome. She continues to be a great person by finding the time outside of school to come to the aids of others. You just go outside of yourself for a few hours a day. And you find time to like figure out that it's not just you in this world. There are other people suffering too and you can help be a part of that change. She juggles school life in the DP program and volunteers, but her best quality is her dedication to whatever she does. Whenever I ask her like what she's doing, she's like, oh yeah, I have like all these things. I'm like... Well, she shows up on time and she tells us what to do and how to do it correctly and how to make it right. Currently, she has been working effortlessly to help homeless teenagers with the Teens for Jeans fundraiser. Isabella's reasons for helping teens in need is dear to her heart. Over 40% of people in the United States who currently experience like homelessness are teens. There are people my age that have to live on the streets or live in a circumstance that shouldn't even have to happen to people. I have several friends currently who experience that situation and I just, I honestly can't imagine having to have to experience that. It's not only Teens for Jeans that she puts an effort towards. I volunteer a lot. I, I don't really care what I volunteer for. I just love volunteering. That honestly, if I could make it like my everyday thing, I would. But like half the time, I kind of forget the paperwork and I'm just doing it and I get so into it. This has been Riley Ferguson reporting for KRAM. The Gene Drive ends on February 28th, so be sure to participate before then. And lastly, Ty Benson is another student at Rampart who has a unique hobby. He spends his weekends competing in airsoft tournaments with his team against other regional teams. Ty Benson has a unique hobby many students don't know much about. The easiest way to describe it is it's like paintball, but instead of shooting paint, you shoot plastic BBs. Airsoft is pretty much paintball, but plastic instead of paint, which makes it cheaper, but it actually hurts more sometimes. Since airsoft is such a unique sport, Ty and his teammates talk about how they got into it. Really just watching YouTube and playing video games because I wanted to basically play a video game in real life, I guess. It through YouTube, pretty much. I uh, showed up in my recommended feed, watched a couple videos, and then went to Google Maps and found a place. Yeah, the kids in my neighborhood, a kid named Jared, shot me with one in the butt. Didn't feel great. <laughs> I wanted to get him back, and that was the way I had to get him back, was to buy one and get him back. Some of Ty's teammates explain the joy of airsoft and playing with Ty. The fact that Ty is, more, is a more experienced player than I, so I can always, in mid-game, mid bounce ideas off of what I'm going to do. 
Uh, the fact that he's better than me and that it just kind of makes it interesting when I'm up against him because he pretty much knows me pretty well so he knows about what I'll be doing. I work here at this beautiful American Paintball Coliseum. Uh, Ty started coming in here right when we very first opened, about a year ago. And yeah, that's when I met him, just a little goofy kid running around playing airsoft and I've just watched him grow and decided to help him out a little bit and he is who he is now when he plays airsoft. Since Ty has been playing airsoft for so long, he obviously enjoys the sport. They're good, they're all good energy and they're all good people. Um, we all thrive in different environments, which is good. It's community, you can't really have airsoft without it. It's just a nice environment. If you're interested in airsoft, talk to Ty Benson about the sport. This is Nathaniel Suggs, signing off. That's it for this week's episode, Rams. This has been Serge Mavi and Rishioza. No, he didn't say profane, he said profound. Should we put more at Jake from State Farm? What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Khakis. Khakis. <laughs> she sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy. <laughs> Be tuned to. <laughs> Be tuned. <laughs> Be tuned to stay sure for the fun of the week. Sorry, ladies. Mommy's my Valentine. <laughs> <laughs>